So uh, I'm loading Tiny Core Linux on an Atom processor, um, 1.6 GHz and 450 Atom, and it's got one gigabyte of RAM. So this video is just to show how quickly it loads when it loads into RAM. And those are all the extensions. There's not really that much more that it loads. Oops, sorry for the blurriness there. Okay, so I got this little dock here, and it's animated pretty quickly. It loads super fast, so I can just type whatever I want. I can erase, don't save, I can go to control panel, system stats, genuine, intel, atom, n450, 1.66 gigahertz, wallpaper, So very responsive. Then I can also uh, run some other apps. Not a whole lot of apps on this. It's not really a, a distro. Top. This is kind of like the other services, um, system stats, but it shows the percentage of the CPU, the memory, and as you can see it is using only um, about 43 megabytes of RAM which is unheard of today on any modern system and you have about 822 megabytes of RAM free so if you're using something like a browser, it should give you enough memory to uh, run even multimedia, uh, um, ideally. But again, if, if this could be installed on a, on a modern chip, like a single board computer, like a Raspberry Pi, um, you could get away with all that on, on your RAM. The only thing is, is you would need to have um, um, enough, you know, storage if you're storing additional data which could be on external. But the, the main point of this is how quickly this loads and there's no lag whatsoever. So I could open multiple windows, Xvesa, I got all these windows open and it's, it, it's like instant. Um, so my next video is going to show Raspup, which is Puppy Linux, and just to compare how slow it is, um, relatively. So that's that, and uh, I'll just sh shut this down here, and we'll see how that it doesn't take very long. I just had to get to the. There we go. So really, really quick. Um, and that's it.